Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahusha, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakudash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching the truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, Where Y'all At? And I Know. All right. When we utilize a spiritual perspective, and my case example would be Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh Shai was the only man to defeat sin within the flesh, he was perfect. All right. He did not go off in any form or way, okay? That is the reason why he's considered as that lamb without blemish. Now, when you think about other great men like King David, he went off. King Solomon, he went off, okay? Um, John the Baptist, he went off. Apostle Peter went off. Apostle Paul, he went off. Why? Because great men went off. So Yahweh Shai could be classified as that guy. All right? And it's the same thing with the followers of Yahweh Shai. Now, I'm not saying that we do not sin. No, I'm not saying that. However, what I what I am saying is these camps have wayward doctrines such as John the Baptist is not a man of the Lord or the microchip is not spoken of in Revelation the 13th chapter because the Most High is making that distinction, okay, that only one camp has the truth. And I will repeat that only one camp has 100% truth, and that is Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles and the sincere men of Great Millstone, point blank period, okay? So it only makes sense that one camp believes that John the Baptist was not a man of the Lord or that the microchip is not spoken of in Revelation, the 13th chapter, or you can continue to call Yahweh Shah Christ, although you claim you have been enlightened by the Holy Spirit. It only makes sense because the Most High has to make that distinction. He has to make that distinction. Oh, this camp has the truth, okay? The full spectrum of the truth, all right? Not 94%, not 95%, not 98%, not 99%, but 100% truth, okay? And that is Great Millstone. And you can receive it or not. I don't give a fuck. But it's obvious, okay? Our camp, beginning with the apostles and the sincere Akim of Great Millstone, is the only camp, okay, that rebuke these other camps when they go off. And that is the reason. So the Most High has to make this distinction. On when it comes to the truth, only great millstone. First scripture. Jeremiah twenty three and three. And I will gather the remnant of my flock, referring to the elect, out of all countries, whither I have driven them throughout the four corners of the earth, and will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase, meaning the Most High will direct the elect by his spirit. To be taught. Okay? That is the reason why they will be fruitful and increase. 
meaning they will be enlightened by the spirit and grow within the spirit. Okay. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them. All right. So now when we jump back to Jeremiah 23 and three, and we'll bring them again to their foes and they shall be fruitful and increase. How so? Because, and I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them. And that is referring to only the apostles of Great Millstone and the, and the sincere occupant of Great Millstone. And they shall fear no more, no, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord Yahweh. Okay? This scripture proves, okay, that the spirit of Yahweh by Shemashah is on the apostles of Great Millstone and the elder Akim. And it trickles down. Okay. We are the only camp that fear the most high. Okay. As well as he has given us that spiritual gift to have faith. And to do his work. And this is the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Point blank period. When it comes to the truth, you come to a great millstone. John 10 and 2. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The door is Yahweh Shai. We come in the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahusha. We preach the same ministry John the Baptist taught. Okay? And most importantly, that Yahweh Shah taught. And it trickles down to what you see now. We have entered in through the door. That is the reason why. We teach 100% truth. How the fuck John the Baptist is not a man of the Lord? And he has a book of John in the Holy Scriptures. And it classifies him as a forerunner for Yahweh Shah. And an angel came to his father, Zacharias, and informed his father on how great this man would be. Second Timothy 2 and 15, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. A workman that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay? And only Great Millstone does this. Rightly dividing the word of truth. How so? Because the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, is upon us. Okay? When you classify John the Baptist as a glass of scotch, then you are not a man of the Lord. If you're saying that the microchip is not spoken of in the book of Revelation, you are not a man of the Lord. When you call Yahweh Shah Christ on a continuous basis, you are, not a, a, you are not a man of the Lord. And I don't give a fuck, okay, how many times you go out there on the highways and the byways, okay? That is not going to save you unless the Most High gives you the spiritual mindset to repent. Because according to 2 Timothy 2 and 15, rightly dividing the word of truth, the Most High must deal with you in order to teach 100% truth. First John 2 and 20, but ye have an unction, an unction, meaning a calling from the Holy One, and ye know all things, referring to the truth. 
That is the reason why I say through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, that great millstone has 100% truth. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. The Most High is only dealing with great millstone. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that the elect are not scattered throughout these camps as well. I'm not saying that. But when it comes to your heads, okay, these cats are spiritually ignorant, whether they sold out or not. Matthew 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. And this gospel, and this gospel, and this gospel, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness, a testimony unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So somebody... Okay, has 100% truth. And the elect will be saved by this gospel. Why? Going back into 1 John 2 and 20. But ye have an unction, a calling from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Okay? And by rule of thumb, if these spiritual individuals have this calling to know all things, then therefore, Matthew 24 and 14 must be executed. John 17 and 6, I have manifested thy name. Now, this is Yahushua speaking. Unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. So, if these men have kept thy word, the men that Yahweh has given to Yahweh Shai, Okay, which makes which makes these men men of the Lord, which makes these men apostles sent forth. Okay, then you think about Revelation, the fourteenth chapter, verse four. These are they which were not defiled with women, meaning philosophies, for they are virgins. Why? Because once you have been born again by the Word. Okay, then you are clean. Okay, you are clean. It was a spiritual cleansing that went on. Therefore, you became that new creature within Yahweh Shah. These are they which follow the Lamb whithsoever he goeth. Why? Because these individuals, which are the elect, which are the prophets, which are watchmen, Okay, they have the Holy Spirit. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits superior within the nation of Israel unto the Most High and to the Lamb. Let's go back to John 17. Let's go to verse 20. Neither pray I for these alone. Okay. Referring to the men of the Lord. All right. The teachers. But for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Okay. Now, if we utilize this scripture regarding real time. So, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, meaning the congregation of Great Millstone. If we're utilizing this scripture in real time, 
meaning at this time frame right now. And you're going to have members from Nate, members from Johanna, okay, uh, GOCC, okay, and whatever camp you are in, if you are the elect, you will follow Great Millstone, okay? It only makes sense. Why? Because Great Millstone is the only camp that has the truth. Okay? And like I said before, the Most High is giving these camps, these wayward doctrines, so it can only be Great Millstone. It must happen. And these doctrines are going to get worse, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Okay? John 17 and 26. And I have declared unto them thy name. Now, this is how I shall speak it to his father. And will declare it. That the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. So how do you know that Yahweh Shah is within, okay, a uh, great millstone beginning with the apostles and the sincere uh, elder Akim trickle down by our teachings. Okay. Does it link up with the scriptures? Are we teaching what the scriptures are truly saying? Has it been revealed to you in the spirit? Are they consistent? Meaning being prophets, not only on weekends, but throughout the week. So where y'all at? All right. And the reason why these other camps are not um, um, standing up for the truth is because the Most High is not dealing with them. He must make that separation. Okay. So Great Millstone can be classified as the only one. Lord, will you are edified. Shalom.